one thing I love about the school is the location. Um, if you're a city guy, you got downtown Scranton about seven minutes away, you know, and you got all the big restaurants and, you know, stores, anything you can want, you, you can find at downtown Scranton. If you're more relaxed a little bit, like residential area, you got Dunmore, which, you're, which we're in, you know, and it's really the best of both worlds and it really suits any type of person. Not to mention the view is very nice too. If you go, if you like walk up a little bit to like by the science building, which, which we're in, you know, you can see, look out, look out at the, the mountains. It's beautiful. There's a lot to do in the area. I always say on my tours, if you go 10 minutes that way, it's downtown Scranton, so it's more of like your college town. You'll have the bar and grill restaurants, pizza places, coffee shops, um, more of a college vibe. If you go 10 minutes the other way, it's more commercialized. There you have malls and like Texas Roadhouse, Walmart, um, Target, all kinds of stores and food places that you'd want to see. And there's some flower fields, pumpkin patches, haunted houses, um, a ski mountain, water parks, lots of fun stuff so close here. I don't know if you've ever heard of the iron furnaces here in Scranton. So we're the history majors, us, we're kind of working on kind of a historical narrative of the site, why it's important, why the preservation of it's important, and the story that it tells, um, not just um, of its own history, but of the history of Northeast Pennsylvania and the country. Um, and then we're taking that information and giving it to the architecture students who are going to come up with a way of, um, I wouldn't say renovating the site, but create future plans for it, proposals for that. Because um, right now it kind of just lays as it is and it's, you know, a park, but just do more with it to show people the importance of that. So I think that's a really interesting project um, to kind of not only see the history of something, but to also try and create some, you know, real or life experience and um, work with that. I think it is so fun around here. There's so many different opportunities. I'm an outdoorsy person, so I love to kayak, camp, hike, and there's just so many areas around here to do that. Between like 10, 15 minutes, the there's just so many trails and things to do. And then there's like some nightlife out in the downtown area. There's so many universities around here. There's no shortage of young people. Even though it is a small school, there's just so many young people around and so many things to do. The mountain view when you're sitting in the library, very kind of everything's in a circle, so it's not easy to get lost, which is one of my biggest things when searching for a school. Um, but all the classrooms, are they kind of had that like vintage kind of older look but um, then others are more renovated so that you see kind of more modern um, but everything is just beautiful especially in the fall time the leaves changing the snow in the winter on the mountaintops just this campus is beautiful